It's Carla McCuller. I'm back with another lesson here. Today, I want to show you guys one of my favorite rudiments that has helped me develop my chops, okay? Guys, I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration of where we're on our way to. If you go grab your sticks and sit down with me and watch this full video, I'm going to give you some fresh ideas to help you turn more rudiments, my favorite rudiments, into what's going to become your favorite chops. Okay, let's go. So it's not a super difficult rudiment, but it may be a little challenging for you guys. But challenges are good. It's just like trying to lift weights, right? When you're trying to curl that dumbbell or you're on that bench and you're trying to push that weight up, it's a little difficult. It's a little challenging. But once you get that weight up, now you're stronger, right? And now you get to, you know, go to the beach and show off your muscles, whatever, get more girls. You, you guys feel me, right? So um, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get more chops. We're not trying to get more girls. We're trying to get more chops or chops and girls. You know, if you're not married, if you're not, uh, you guys get the picture. Anyway, before we get started, if you guys don't mind smashing that like button, that will help me get this video out to more drummers around the world, okay? Okay, guys, so there's three parts to this. A part A, a part B, and then a saucy part C. If you stick around, this will make the whole thing more saucy, all right? And sauciness is just what I like to call flavor on our playing, all right? Flavor on the food. It's going to spice it up, make it taste better to the audience, all right? So here we go. So here's part A. You got right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right. Let's do it again. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right. I'll do it slow on the snare. So we got part A, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right. And then let's do part B. Part B, we're just going to reverse it. Left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left. Slower. Left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left. So now I'll play part A and I'll play part B. And this should be counted as 16th notes, okay? So let's do it together. I'm going to start the metronome off at 50 BPM. Um, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, how you feel, guys? All right. So when you're doing that, focus on getting that rim shot in there, okay? So make sure you're getting that solid accent in there. And then the other thing is to make sure your stick heights are coming up to the same height, okay? Because um, that's going to help your dynamic sound nice, clean, and even, okay? Watch again. So let's speed it up a little bit. I'm going to use a Chopzilla loop here that I got from ShedTracks.com. It's going to just help us be inspired and more creative, all right? So uh, check out ShedTracks.com for great drumless tracks and loops. Let's try it out. All right, guys. So what's happening there is 
I mean, not much more than just speeding up the tempo. It, everything gets more interesting as you speed it up because it turns into a chop. And then you can impress all your friends and gain followers and subscribers and whatever else, right? So um, once you have that sped up, now we can begin to orchestrate it around the kit and hit different things, right? Hit different sounds on the kit. Um, if you saw in my last video, I like to call my kit my orchestra. And an orchestra is made up of different instruments, strings, oboes, contrabass, flutes, brass, woodwinds. You guys get it? Rhythm section. So what happens is, you know, you got long sounds like your cymbals. You got short sounds like your snare, tom, stacks. And you can just begin to orchestrate this thing around the kit. Do you ever feel like you don't know how to reach the next level as a drummer? If so, I have the perfect solution for you. I'd like to introduce you to the Impact Drumming community. I want to help you unlock your full potential as a drummer. I'm going to help you play cleaner, build independence, develop new chops, and new drum fills. I'm Carla McCullough, and currently I'm the drummer for a six-time Grammy Award-winning band by the name of Israel Houghton and New Breed. But this is not about me. This is about helping you become a better drummer and musician. I want you to come behind the scenes with me into my practice room, and I'll show you exactly what and how I practice. I want to press the fast-forward button for you and help you skip years of frustration and mistakes. After joining this community, you'll have a clear path to improve on the drums. Today, I'd love to start teaching you everything I know. Discover the best and most useful rudiments to develop chops and clean drum fills. You'll learn my secret method to developing rock solid pocket, timing, and clean chops all at the same time. You'll learn how to reach new levels of independence and smooth control with your hands and feet. You'll definitely learn how to become a more attractive and attention grabbing drummer, and you'll learn how to mix and tune your drums to a more clearer and fatter drum sound. You can learn more about all the courses and features below this video okay guys so drumming and music is a language right it's a universal language that anybody can understand even animals right i've seen animals dancing on the internet to music right so um a language is made up of words and words are made up of phonics phonic sounds right so uh, vowels a e i o u a e uh right so rudiments are just ways to express those sounds. Um, rudiments um, to me are the phonics that make up words. The word may be an actual drum feel, right? But the phonic sound that makes up the word is the rudiment because a drum feel is only made up of rudiments, whether it's single strokes or double strokes or paradiddles, double paradiddles, triple paradiddles, one of my favorite flamadiddles. So what we're gonna do today is work on our phonics so that, so that we can speak better words and expand our vocabulary and if we have a better vocabulary, then we can communicate with the language better, right? So I know that was a lot, but I just wanted to lay that out so you understand where we're going. We're developing our sounds on the kit. We're developing our phonics, which is going to help us create better words. It's going to expand our vocabulary. And then we'll be able to speak this language more fluently, which turns into more gigs, more money, more opportunity, more followers, more subscribers. You guys get the picture. Let's get into it. So let me move this rudiment around the kit so you guys can see it with this tempo. Right, so I begin to spread it and orchestrate it around the kit, and then I added my kick right on the one, two, three, four. All right, so where those accents were, we're just putting our kick on top of those. All right, so we got. So 
you could also move this to the floor time, right? As I've mentioned before, we love using the floor time and the hi-hat and the snare. The more you practice this, the more you'll be able to facilitate this rudiment, meaning move it around and orchestrate is what things that you're hitting on the kit, right? So facilitate, move it around, orchestrate. When you're moving it around, what are you actually hitting? All right. So um, I think I threw in some chokes there on the hi-hat. Same rudiment, we're just orchestrating it and facilitating it around the kit, right? The more you do this, you will build your facilitation, which means you could just move backward, I mean forward, <laughs> backwards, around, crisscross, underneath, you know, but it's all about muscle memory and building that thing up first. So take it slow and then um, you'll be able to move this thing around, all right? So now for part C, the part that I promise you guys will add a little bit more sauce to uh, this exercise. It is a triple paradiddle. We're going to add a triple paradiddle on the top of this rudiment that we just did, okay? What the heck is a triple paradiddle? I'm sure you guys, you guys might know, you may not know, but you know what a regular paradiddle is, right? So, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. I'll slow it down. Right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay? And then the double paradiddle is right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. So now we're gonna do a triple paradiddle, which is right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. So if we put part A, part B, and part C together, so part A is right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right. Part B is left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left. Then part C is right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Okay? So it'll sound like this. Let's go back to 50 BPM right quick. One, two, three, four. You get the idea. All right, so let's speed it up and you guys can hear how part A, part B, and part C sounds together. Let's do it. that sound around the kit. Here we go. Let's put the loop back on. Hey guys, 
man, that's about it. So what happens is the other rudiments that you know and the other vocabulary that you already know, you start to combine all of that stuff. So what I was doing at the beginning, I was pretty much doing what I taught here, but I think I might have mixed in some other variations and permutations of what I'm doing, right? And we'll save those vocabulary words for another lesson, but it's for it's a fancy word for saying we mix stuff up, okay? So uh, let's check it out. So I went from single paradiddles, double paradiddles, triple paradiddles to the rudiment we just taught back into double paradiddles, singles, triples. So I, you get to mix this stuff up the more comfortable you get with it. It's kind of like playing a sport like basketball. You got slam dunks. You got layups. You got uh, hook shots. You got three pointers. You got all kind of stuff that you can use to make points, right? Um, and all we're doing here, if we bring it back to the language talk, we're just developing different words with punctuation. We're using long vowels. We're using short vowels. Um, we're just, we're speaking, right? And uh, the longer you live, hopefully the, the larger your vocabulary gets. So no one can really talk well. No one can really communicate with language when they're young, like six months old or even a year old. Maybe around two years, three years, we really start to be able to enunciate the words and the short vowels, long vowels, whatever, right? So it's going to take some time, guys. So put the time in. Try to give it at least, you know, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. So you'll want to put the time in with this exercise, ultimately to be able to speak freely, right? Um, there's nothing like being able to speak freely and not stumble over your words and stutter and just be confident. So guys, thanks again for watching. If you need more lessons, jump over to carlamccullor.com. I've got a ton of more lessons there and I'm consistently adding more lessons. Uh, and if you enjoyed this loop again, I got that from shedtracks.com, which is a site that I actually created with some friends. Uh, we love making drumless tracks for the drumless community. So thanks again, guys. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video so that we can push this video out to the world and more people can get help on the drums. Hopefully, just like you guys did. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.